Ja, ja. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to Loco Skates. There's three icon. Icon? Icon. Are we supposed to say? You're not supposed to say it. I'm not going to give it any funny name. Just Icon, no. yeah. I'm going to say Icon. Yeah, Icon. Yeah. I think that's what they want us to say. Um, there's three new skates and the brand is called Icon and uh, there's three of us. Harry's here, he's got the Icon... AG10. AG10. Gaston, he's got the... Got the TR10. TR10 and I've got the AG20. They're slightly different but we took them out and we used them for different use cases. So Harry took some and did some wizard skating on them, put some wizard skates on because they've got the carbon fiber cuff. I did aggressive on mine, and Gas did some just like speed, recreationally kind of skated on them, tried to go as fast as possible. But you also had a go on those as well, didn't you? So I had a little burn on the aggressive ones as well, yeah. Maybe we'll start with Harry and see how he felt about his wizard skates. Mm. Well, I guess um, the first thing to mention is they were a little bit big for me. I'm like a size six, and the size I skated was a size seven but I think they'd fit pretty true to size and like really nice. I've got a wide foot as well. So the, the, the kind of lace section and over your toes is like pretty accommodating and just like well fitting. So that's the first thing. Carbon fiber skates are often like really compact. So like, yeah, I thought the fitment was, was good. Um, but yeah, my initial impression is, um, so they came, they come out of the box with this Velcro strap and I was curious about using that. And because the carbon fiber cuff is so stiff and the, the strap is so like soft and like, yeah, soft, we're just like a lot of... <laughs> that's Will, that's Will, but that's Will, having, just a, having a little shake. He's gonna sit down. Yeah, I thought the strap, the combination of the carbon cuff and the strap isn't like the best combination for big wheels. So I didn't do it, but they're, the in the box you get like a normal you get a normal buckle with it so i would like that's probably one of the first things i'd do is just replace the, the velcro strap with a um normal buckle yeah and um for wizard tricks good so yeah i i use a carbon fiber boot already but that's the first time i use the carbon fiber cuff and so actually i can see the benefit of that in terms of like your lateral support like really stiff so if you're like in the middle of a maneuver you can get quite like precise results um, out of them so yeah i think really good option for for big wheel skating and there's lots of big wheel frames and i suppose like because there's a bit of a lack of options on the market at the moment to attach a wizard frame to as well right yeah and that's like completely flat so um yeah not many options on the market so it's like a an expensive but legitimate like flat boot what else can you put a wizard frame on at the moment you could put it on a, a, a cj k2 you yeah. like unnatural, but if if you can get hold of them, yeah, if you can get hold of them mm. anymore. Did, did you keep sole kits on? I can't remember. I took the sole kits off, so yeah, it, the the frame attaches straight to the bottom of the boot without the sole kit, so you can get the lowest center of gravity possible. So for those people that aren't aware, that Harry used that skate for wizard skating, but it's you know it comes as a boot only with a sole kit, you know, I suppose designed predominantly for aggressive skating. Um, and then I, in my version, which is the AG20. It's basically the same thing with, without the carbon fiber material on the boot and on the cuff. Mm. So it's just a plastic version. And then, yeah, and then I could kind of see it makes sense why they would have, because this line has got like a super soft tongue. So that in combination with the Velcro strap, not having skated them for aggressive, but I can see why they've made those decisions to like help with your kind of impacts and forward flexion. Um, but for big wheels, I don't recommend it. Yeah, the so other too much forward flex for me as well on that on that um, liner. Mm. I'll come on to that in a minute when I talk about them. But yeah. So do they come the AG20? Do they come with the Velcro strap set up or the normal Good strap? Question. Well, it came in the box with the yeah. normal buckle, mm. and then the strap. Oh yeah, there is a. Oh no, no, they're little sliders for the side. Yeah. 
Uh, no, no. So your one comes with two buckle you know, strap options, yeah, and mine just the one. Extra value on the AG10, and that's true. Yeah. So also you can get like a, a slide pad. There's nowhere to screw the slide pad pad in. They recommend you glue it on or drill your own holes. <laughs> don't know why and then also you can off their website get a 3d printed mold for a buckle protector to drill into the cuff but I don't think I'm confident in doing that so unless I you... wouldn't drill into my 600 pounds <laughs> yeah, yeah. carbon fiber skate either yeah, I probably think. wouldn't do that um, and you know we're probably like we might be like the most qualified people out there maybe Gaston sort of job. Gaston is <laughs> you, you would do it yes would you drill into a carbon fiber skate just to put a isn't it ironic yeah. that the, not, the, not, the not, protector? Not my skate, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but isn't it ironic that like, the thing you're using to, like, to protect your boot, you have to damage your boot mm. to put it on? I mean, you might damage the actual buckle if you had a really bad mm. impact, or cool. something, you know, smashed into something, but that's just on, you just unscrew it and put a new one in if yeah. you need to. But let's talk mm. about these straps as well. So the strap on the top of your one, Harry, and my mid strap, and you don't have them, but they're like... They're really cool, actually. They're like seat belts. They're like a seat belt material. Mm. It looks to be really hard wearing. Um, and like, let me just see in the camera like this. I'm not, I don't think I've seen anyone use that material before in blading. I mean, I hope it's hard wearing it because it overlap, overlaps the lace like hoop loop thing. Because the loop thing on these comes out, it's a bit of plastic, it's not just a hole in the boot, it's not just an eyelet, and it kind of like rubs against it, so hopefully that won't affect it if that's really hard wearing, but we'll see after after time. Um, but they're really, yeah, really cool, really cool design on the, on the straps. And the whole boot is like super, super good quality when you look at all the different parts, and that's the, that's the main thing I liked about these, is like when they arrive, so when they when they first brought these out, and I saw the images, I thought like, oh, you know, another boot that looks a little bit like a carbon or carbon free, um, that type of boot. You know, I thought it looked okay, but I wasn't like massively excited about it. And when it arrived, I was like, damn, that looks really cool. Like all the different textures on the boot, like so you can see it's got like satin toe box, and then these this like rough texture here. Mm. I really really liked it, and and even down to like the rose gold cuff bolts, I really liked. I thought they looked really good. Um, it's and, definitely a synergy to the skates. Yeah, there could be a danger of like lots of just adding lots of part, but it all it all does work together. Doesn't yeah, it? it looks really really nice, and when you hold it in your hand, it feels very 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 premium more than anything, I think, more than anything else I've seen it in skating. But the inside as well, it's like lined in this like really nice material. It's almost like a um, like an Alcantara <laughs> material that you'd get in, on like a dashboard of a luxury car. And it's... It feels a bit like it would, whatever you put in it, it's going to kind of grip to it. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't, it's not going to slide about. It's not sitting in a plastic shell and it's going to slide about. It's, it's a yeah. material that's going to, the line is going to grip to it, isn't it? Yeah, and it just, yeah. Yeah, it just feels like finished really nice. And also, yeah, if you look underneath the sole as well, there's like a dampener between the sole plate and the bottom of the boot. So that's always a good thing to see. Okay. Sorry about the noise in here, guys. Again, functioning business. <laughs> Someone's drilling next door or something. <laughs> yeah, I've never heard that sound before. What are they doing this time? I don't know. Could well, anything. they fix cars, so... Um, we're just about to move into a new spot. This would be the last video at this place. Um, so I think we'll take a bit of a break after this while we settle in, and then, and then we'll be in a new place. So hopefully a better um, studio situation. Mm. Another difference between the AG10 and the AG20 is that the AG10 has got a um, rockerable cuff so you can have it up or down and the AG10 does not have that fixed thing. position cuff. What did you think of yours, Gas? What, what are you saying about the TR10s? So yeah, this is the kind of freestyle uh, cruising slash uh, Marathon slash yeah, they, they say you can use this for lots of different things. It doesn't come with wheels, right? It just comes as a boot only. This is just like. yeah, I've got this set up with a three times one hundred mil 
frame set up, which is just something we had to hand. And uh, yeah, I mean, I won't talk about the frame and the wheel setup at all, uh, but the boot, just for testing out, I found it really responsive, uh, really lightweight. Uh, like high performance skate, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it, but it doesn't always translate into the best fitting skate out the box. But I'd say after like half an hour, 40 minutes on my feet, I could feel them getting better, and then I could imagine that some heat molding is gonna like make it just absolutely perfect. I think it would really benefit from that, and anyone who gets this and puts it on, just keep in mind that it's really going to react well to some heat molding it's a performance skate yeah and like when we all put it on like the toe box is very low mm. on the top of your toes and we we all put it on and went like but yeah look how shallow it is at the end how shallow it is um and then but then the longer you keep it on the more you realize that that's probably yeah. intentional yeah, because yeah. like the whole thing about a skate is trying to keep your foot in one place so it's going to be tight around the heel it's going to be like shallow on the toes yeah so you can feel like the skate at every point across yeah, your yeah. foot absolutely locked in place there's no no movement i mean that's a my foot is 260 mils in length and this is this boot length is 266 right so in theory, it's ever so slightly too big, but in actually in practice, that's the size that I would ride right. myself. That's a good tip. I guess, yeah, it's like five mil for your socks. And if you actually like delve that. into it, yeah, most companies would say have a few millimeters above your foot length. For, for, for like a customer, for people that are watching, what would we say that that fits half a size small, could you say? Or full size small? Mm, well, actually, I think the size, this is the size UK 8 and the size UK 7, the actual measurement is like just underneath my foot measurement. So you kind of had to go up anyway. So I had to go up anyway. So I guess my advice would be check the measurement a little bit, not just your shoe size because it can vary. Everything can vary. So try and check that a little cool. bit or message us and well i found one. it a bit small I, I yeah. would, for me if i had to like just like sum up i'd say like it's probably half a size small so just keep that in yeah. mind maybe yeah yeah um, but yeah like i don't think there's any other skate out there which holds your foot in the same way that that does yeah um but i remember when we were out trying to film you know you said oh just just skate along and i'll just film you and you couldn't keep up yeah. because I was just it was just absolutely rapid and I wasn't didn't feel like I was actually working at all I just seemed to hit a really fast speed really quickly about actually yeah. even trying so yeah it was definitely a high performance out. skate yeah. yeah what's the um the lace bit saying yeah well they've got this you know a top they call it the a top sort of wheel that you uh screw into place and it tightens this whole lacing area up there is a set of laces behind it which just actually just sits where a mid strap would sit and uh, I don't know whether you I might I might I, I would probably take out that lace I don't know if you'd be able to see it on the or camera on the liner. I would just there's just look you can see there's there's just one okay. there's just one lace hole yeah sitting on top of your foot with a set of laces that goes up into the top of the lining it does serve a purpose actually and I guess if you if you wanted to stop that tongue moving about you would actually lace it right up to the top and it would keep it in place yeah. really nicely um, just to say about that a top system which is the wheel that you turn to tighten up it's not it's not just it's not just because um, it's quicker and easier to put on and take off. The other thing as well is it gives you more even tightening over your foot. So mm -hmm. if you imagine when you tighten the lace up, there's always friction at the lace eyelet point. For each, like, for each time a lace goes through an eyelet, there's friction. So you, you tighten a lace, a normal lace, and it just tightens like just there around your mm. top of your ankle. And none of these, but unless you go through every single lace tightening it. Whereas that, because it's less friction, it's got that nylon kind of wire. Yeah, yeah. It, um, it, like the whole foot just comes in all at once. It's a really yeah. nice feeling. It's Guess actually what? really effective. But also because the, because the skate, you know, it's got quite a shallow fit to it even with it undone like that I could have quite happily skated around like that and my foot wouldn't have moved mm. so that really does help sort of push your heel right down and lock it in place by a very like 
close fitting skate anyway. So it's it's just adding to a to an already close fit, which is cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, the carbon fiber cuff, you can put it down, you can rocker it down a little bit for, they say that's for like speed marathon kind mm -hmm. of stuff. Yeah, so you could get like, you could practice dorsiflexion easier. So you could like yeah. forward and backwards yeah, yeah. flexion. Yeah. I mean, they, from, for me, like, a carbon fiber cuff is just maybe a little bit too i'm going to say advanced for what i'm actually trying to do on a set of skates it's maybe not needed as such yeah uh, you're just like yeah. going to use them recreationally yeah. yeah yeah but it wasn't um it wasn't uh, a hindrance in any way but if you're doing like slalom or cones or freestyle then uh, like carbon fiber cuff is like precision exactly yes yeah. like, really yeah. like for marathon and stuff as well though like if you want to like stay really rigid do you know what i mean like because if you're fatiguing in a marathon yeah speed yeah situation you, and your feet start to pronate and stuff like maybe a carbon fiber cuff exactly for that as well that would that would really help and also because it's got the trinity mounting on it as well that seems to help with pronation as well, it seems to my feet were just locked straight up. I wasn't at all, not even slightly bending over to the sides at all, which is uh, unique. It does work mm. for that, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. it is good yeah, yeah. for like no, not having bendy, bendy frames. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Should I talk about this then? Yeah. So this was the AGU twenty. Other than like when they arrived and just like being totally blown away by the quality of the materials and actually how they looked and everything. Um, in terms of how they performed. Yeah, I mean, when I first put them on, I, like I said, the forward flex on that liner was too harsh for me, and I tried to lace it all the way to the top to stop that tongue kind of coming outwards like that. And it still kind of did it, so I, it was fine, but I was just feeling, like, if you don't like a forward flex, then maybe you want to think about switching that out but maybe something that some people do like forward flex like put an intuition line in liner in there as usual to be honest i put an intuition liner in like pretty much every skate that i would get anyway like that's mm -hmm. like what i would do i can't think of a skate i wouldn't just do that with probably not with an m12 because they don't really fit but mm. other than that just independently as its own thing the tongue does feel really cool like the like pu stuff so yeah, like the, super rebounding yeah. and like squidgy yeah, it's really cool, isn't it? Like the the production of that, but like it just like if it was just longer on the sides and it didn't pop out so much, mm. then you wouldn't have so much forward flex on it. Anyway, I changed the lines to intuitions, felt good. Um, the skate for me like felt really dense and solid, which I thought was a really good thing. I really liked it when I put my them 909s back on after I skated them. The them 909s felt all, like lightweight and weird, like. And I know some people watching will be thinking like, oh, well, wouldn't, wouldn't it be better? that the skate is lightweight but in my opinion that's not always the case i i like the thud i like feeling something solid and dense underneath my foot especially on aggressive skating um so yeah it was it was really nice to feel that and experience a different way of skating actually um i took the they've got a cuff part here so can you see it's got this part you can unscrew and screw there and you just take this top part of the cuff out and it will because it overlaps but it's kind of double cuff thing going on and if you if you take that bit off and you get more flex in the cuff and I did do that I did that on my right foot actually and I left this one on my left foot just to compare the two and I think I would take it off because it's got a sh quite a short cuff this skate from what I'm used to like you know when you have a short cuff it's quite hard to get the like leverage to like lean bone over into it because it doesn't come high up enough it's like a bit stumpy and it just kind of digs in mm -hmm. so actually for me the benefit of being able to take that out and have, just have more flex in the calf i liked it um but each to their own on that one and then that coming on to grinds i thought i mean this was the bit that really kind of <laughs> you were loving the grinds weren't I was you loving it yeah 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 i was totally loving it because it was such a luxury and i've been so fixated lately on like you know, having everything legit and like, like get my royals down and get my top sides down and you know all the stuff that probably is is the right way to look at skating if you're a purist. But just the luxury of having this massive sole kit, it was so beautiful to do top soles on that and not have to worry on square ledges about anything. It just and then backslides straight away. Um, I guess yeah, viewers have used gods or USD seven before 
It's those soul plates, right? It's the same yeah, thing. so really it's the soul kit there that I would like, really love in. Mm. And I've skated them before on the USD7, and I remember them being really good. So I'm also interested to try some gold Tim Franklin, Franklin skates. Um, yeah, just to try that soul kit on a different boot, just because it's so good, it's such a luxury, it's just so easy to, to grind on. Really loved it. So yeah, I'm just excited to try different different versions of, of that soul kit as well. Uh, yeah, talk, I imagine like that groove as well. I always talk about torque slides, even though I could never do a torque slide. Um, it's like a sort of a caring thing on the channel. <laughs> but um, if I could do a torque slide, that would probably <laughs> be really good. Cool. <laughs> that would have said. Did we, pro we proved in the them review that neither of us can do a torque slide, right? Yeah. 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 Damn. We should have tried on this, and maybe I could have done. Next time. Yeah. Well, I'll review the Golds ones, the USD7 or whatever it's called. The Golds, Tim Franken. Mm. So by the way, the, um, the, that Golds skate, which used to be the USD7 mold, is not going to be a USD7 anymore. Just, I just found this out the other day, or well, was reminded of it the other day. So if you, if you like a USD7 skate, then it, it's now like, it's a Golds thing. Uh, so they won't release any more USD 7s, but to my knowledge, uh, it will just be under the Gold's brand name. Oh yeah, Shock Absorber. Mm. It's good, because they're not a raised heel boot, that's the other thing as well. They're flat, boot your foot sits flat inside it, there's no raised heel at the sole plate level. Uh, but then you've got a, a, a Shock Absorber like that, and the Shock Absorber just looks good, it's well finished, it's, it feels like it's not too soft. So it's not kind of like a big jelly under your foot and the usual kind of Velcro on to the bottom of the liner. So that raises your heel a little bit. thought it felt really good. Yeah, I was actually like, yeah, I, I really, really enjoyed these in the end. Like when I first put them on, I was, I was wandering because of the forward flex and stuff. And then by the end of the session, I was like, yeah, I really like those. Mm. You seem pretty confident on them. Yeah, I would consider, consider skating them a bit more actually. Mm. Mm. If I hadn't have sold them on Facebook <laughs> to someone. <laughs> but I'll get a gold skate instead. But great, really good skates, really good um, brand. The quality is amazing. They got like all these different options: wizard, aggressive, mm. carbon fiber, speed. More, more to come as well, apparently. Yeah, they're going in hard. Old disroyal distri distribution, aren't they? Mm. They got about a billion different decode frames. Yeah, they they didn't mess around. So yeah, loads more to come from those guys. And uh, I think, don't know, is that it? Is that? Yeah, I mean, is if anyone like, I would say if anyone like, if we didn't answer any questions about these, you can just like message us directly. I, I answer email. the comments on these sometimes. Yeah, we'll answer the comments, yeah. so don't be yeah. afraid to just ask us specifics if you need to. Yeah, yeah, if you've got any questions that don't involve like, commenting about Harry's trousers <laughs> in the comment section and you want to ask about the skates then I'll, I'll be in the comment section so cool can't remember what trousers I was wearing now actually just a bit people that everyone loved your big wide trousers mm. in one of the videos or hated them but that's what I meant ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. right um, that's it thanks for watching everyone see you soon bye Harry bye Gaston bye Harry's trousers <laughs> Oh, and see you in the next, um, in the new Loco Skates. And we'll make, we'll, we'll do some Instagram updates on stories. And I think I'll make a video about moving into the new spot. But I think, I think there won't be any more videos for a while because we've got to move a whole massive business into a new warehouse. So see you on the other side. Bye everyone. <laughs>